안녕하세요, 여러분. 저는 러시안 K 아티스트입니다. Um, hey guys, so today, this is Russian K artist. I wanted to go ahead and do something a little bit um, interesting because I didn't really have any ideas for this video, and I know I haven't posted a video in like a week or two or so. Um, yeah, but anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and try to draw some of the artwork from TikTok. So, like, uh, the ones that say, like, the tutorial ones, I guess. And, yeah, so let's go ahead and just get it going. We'll start off with something very, very simple. So it was, um, like, you draw a line, and then, yeah, we'll just, we'll go into it. So we'll draw a line, and then it says to draw little dots all over the line. And then we got to connect the lines. I mean, connect the the dots, so. So in between all these little parts where I'm going to go really quickly with the video, I'm just going to speak because I don't feel like adding music into them. All right, so once you've got a few of these, um, the video said that you can go ahead and add more lines going out and do the same thing. And you just keep repeating this process until you've got it all, like, got the whole page uh, covered, so... I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video so you guys can go ahead and see that working. Yeah, so this artwork was actually kind of fun to do. It was just really annoying to have to do it all because there's just so much random line drawing and then you have to go over it. It took a while to do, so that's why I don't want you guys watching me do the whole thing through. And I was thinking of just cutting it all out and just showing you the ending result of it, but that wasn't really much fun, so I was like, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. This was actually kind of fun. You guys really should try this out. If you want me to do any more TikTok arts after this video, definitely comment that down below because I would love to see what other kind of videos you guys have in store. Also, just send me links and stuff like that if that works for you as well, so... All right, so first one down, let's go to the next one. Just a quick snack break. So for this next project, um, it requires some foil. That's not foil. Uh, watercolors. So I have watercolors, but then I also have these. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And then it also requires some water. So I'm just going to use it for my water bottle. Because I don't feel like filling up a cup just to dip a little bit on. But anyways, first things first, you grab the markers. I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit on paper, just put a bunch of different colors. I don't think this is going to be enough, actually. I might end up having to use my actual watercolor set, so we'll see. If this doesn't work, I'll have to use my watercolor set. Squeak, 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 squeak. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use my actual watercolors because this doesn't look like it's going to do much. So anyways, for anything else, let's put that aside. You grab a little bit of water. It's just kind of... Let's hopefully not spill too much. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is messy. <laughs> I don't want to get my brushes. And then you get whatever it is that you put on here and you face it down. Oh, wow. And then you kind of just mess with it a little bit. Oh, so slightly. Pick it up. P.S. This one's just a background idea. Got yourself a canvas of colors! Now, they didn't do this in the video, but I kind of want to swish it around a bit like so. You know what's even more fun? When you actually put salt on watercolors. So let me do that. Watercolors like this. Ah! No! Not my desk! Ha! <laughs> that was annoying to clean. Like, it really, really was, to be honest. Like that. Ooh. That actually looks kind of cool. If you get some salt on watercolors, it usually adds a little effect to it. It's only like watercolors that like aff get affected a lot by um, alcohol. Like if you spray alcohol on it, it'll make a pattern. Or if you spray like salt on it. It looks like a brain to me, honestly. I might even turn this into a brain. That'd be cool. Let's see if this does anything. Because typically you add the salt into the water and then you splash it on. But yeah, so that's that's the second one. So yes. It works. Now let's make sure it doesn't spill everywhere. This one's probably one of my favorite ones that I'm doing in this video. Finish the snack. All right, so this next art piece, oh dang it, I got some stuff right here, requires um, pastels. So let's get to it. Um, so in this video, she actually is going to do like, let me show you real quick. That's what they make. 
Now I can't say I'm actually gonna do a unicorn. I'll try to be creative. My set of soft pastels. I'm so happy I actually have these. I bought them a long time ago, never touched them, so. All right, so she goes in or he goes in or whatever. They go in with striped colors. Um, except I did notice that they do, hold up, I might toss this art piece away anyway, so I might as well rip it out. Let's do this the right way. Nice. All right, we're gonna start by, sorry, I gotta get the camera in there nicely. I'm gonna start by just taping this thing down, so give me just a second here. So I don't have regular white tape like she does, but I do have the black tape, so... I mean, red type. But anyways, yeah. So let's go in since I like more darker colors. I'm just going to stay with more cool colors. Or actually a little bit more brighter. Because hers is bright. And she has to draw the unicorn in black. So can't go too dark. Because otherwise we'll just ruin it. Darker and make it lighter. Or darker, make it lighter. Start off here. I guess it doesn't really matter too much what colors you use. Got lighter green because that makes sense for the sky. Um, and then let's go in with the red. <laughs> this does not make any sense at all. Ending it off with like an orange color up top here. And then she kind of smudged it all together. So let's see how that works. Oh, hey, that's working. It's kind of mucky looking a little bit, but I mean, it works. I mean, okay, okay. I don't like the colors, though. They look terrible, but, I mean, it smudges nicely, so that's good. Now that we've got our really ugly colors. You know, I'm gonna change the colors up. I can't stand this. This looks really terrible. <laughs> we'll, we'll put it, make it a little bit more interesting. So we'll kind of, like, add, like, darker blue into here, like, red hue, like, at the bottom of it. We'll add the orange and some yellow, okay? Let's see how that smudges better. No, that's making it worse. Hmm, now I just ruined it, didn't I? They're not gonna worry about it. All right, and then uh, you use the black one to go ahead and create whatever it is you want to create on here. So let's make a line for the ground here. Start off with the tree. We'll, we'll smudge that in and hopefully. <laughs> Mmm, this isn't going well, but I mean it still looks ugly Yeah, I don't like this one and I think I'm done Seriously, oh no, yeah, you can't use this Maybe it's the paper that I was using because look at what it's doing. It's just Taking that all off with it. Oh, yikes. That's ripping it off. No! Stop! Ta-da! <laughs> all right, that's gonna go in the trash. All right, let's uh, clean this up and move on to the next one. This next one's gonna be similar to that last one. So I brought more. I'm gonna try it with my other pastel ones. And this time, I'm gonna change up my paper. And we're gonna have to tape this down as well. Ah! Don't get on yet. No! <laughs> so I'll stick that on there first and... As you can tell, I'd be struggling a lot in this video doing some simple things. Seriously. Alrighty then. Ace Ventura, pet detective. So basically, she's doing it this way. Um, I hope I don't get copyrighted for this. I probably will. Um, and yes, the whole video is actually sideways. She does that, takes that off, and voila. So start with pink at the bottom, get all the way up to black at the top. Right here at the bottom. Oh, this is a lot softer. Okay, gotta make sure I don't accidentally get the tape there. You know, me doing voiceovers like this is literally me reacting to myself before I even post the video and then being okay with it to post the video. Oh, but this doesn't smudge as well. I realize how awkward I am when I do voiceovers. Like, it's, I'm awkward right now too, so. All right, I think that's good enough. That's actually not that bad. Oh, she smudged it with her fingers. Yes. <gasps> uh, I wonder if that would have helped better or not. Nope. I don't know. I still think she uses a different kind of like chalk. I think she used chalk for it, not oil pastels. Oil pastels. I don't know why I said it all weird like that. So also she did use paint. So let me go get grab some paint real quick. Dip it in there. All right. So we've got our white, she used a toothbrush, dipped it in, and then kind of like flicked it with her finger, which I don't like doing stars because of this reason. It's just gonna make a mess. You would think I'm an amateur artist. Technically, I am an amateur artist. 
People, for some reason, will think, oh my goodness, you do such great art. This is awesome. Like, how do you know how to do that? Dude, I have no idea. Okay, I just make up half the things I do. I'm not a professional. And we're going to, oh my goodness, that's way too much water. I'm going to mix, 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 mix. Oh, great. It's splashing everywhere. That's not good. Ooh, bigger stars. That's what I, oh, do, do, oh, I just, just realized I dripped that. Oh, that's great. That's great. Nice. All right. Now, how are you going to make the little shooting stars part? She didn't even show. She doesn't show how to draw stars. Well, I mean, okay, fine. I'll find my own method. All right. So I've got like these fancy tools that people use all the time when they're doing art. I've never used them before. And these are actually brand new. I just opened them out of the case today. But I mean, I can try to kind of, yep, that's not working. Yeah, that, that doesn't look <laughs> Oh, yikes. Oh, why is it so bad today? Why? Why? Don't ever call me a good artist, guys. Whatever. We'll wait for this annoying stuff to dry up and then I'll do the little stars on there and... I mean, not the stars, I'll do the trees and we'll be done. All right, guys, so it's basically dry and I'm gonna try to see if I could do it with a pencil to draw the trees. If I can't, I will go with like a pen or even paint or something. So let's go for it. Did she use a ruler, by the way? Even though the stars look all messed up, I actually really, really do like this art piece though. Hey, that actually turned out really nice. Let's go ahead and remove the tape everywhere. This time the tape actually did not rip the paper, so that's always good. All right, so that's the finishing piece. Let's go ahead and... All right, so I think that's gonna be it for the video. I'm gonna end it here. So this is my TikTok artwork. So if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Also comment down below which one you like the most. I possibly could turn this into something else, but it's also just like a great idea in general if you want to do like a background for something. I think it actually worked out pretty nice, especially all the colors are diverse everywhere, um, splattered everywhere, kind of mixed together. I like it. Um, but yeah, so anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a good thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, and if you have any other ideas on what you guys want me to do as far as artwork goes, uh, definitely leave that down below and maybe I will do it. So... Bye. Take care, guys. God bless you guys. See you in my next video. Annyeong.